Welcome to the Synergy MMS Enterprise Voice Appliance Configuration video. This particular video is for the Cisco SPA8800 device. There are three areas of this device that we'll talk about today. The first one is phone 1, which is the port that's used for testing. Second is the Ethernet port for the network connection. Finally, there are up to four phone lines that are supported by this device. Configuration. This is an example of a, con of a box that's connected correctly and ready for configuration. Power is on, Ethernet is plugged in, and phone one is connected to a simple analog phone, such as this one. Analog is crucial, so keep that in mind. This you can see the box is powered on and for about a minute these lights will blink those four status lights will blink as it gets tuned in and ready to be configured this is an example of one that's ready for configuration all four lights are solid green next we will configure the device using the phone that's plugged into the port labeled phone one configuration menu please enter option followed by the pound key one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one zero three configuration menu next launch your browser and type in the ip address that was read to you from the configuration menu as shown here when the configuration utility loads Click on Admin Login, and then click on Advanced. The WAN status section covers DHCP settings for a static IP and will not be covered in this demonstration. Next, click on Voice, then click on Phone 1. There are a few key settings in this area that have to be configured before you can use the box. Of course, the first is to make sure the line is enabled. Then scroll down and find the proxy settings. Enter the following, as shown on the screen, sve-ata.synergymms.com colon 5724. When you're done with that, scroll down a little further. And you'll see the display name. Enter the display name as provided to you by SAI. This may be a number. Next, enter the user ID as provided to you by SAI. Finally, enter the password as provided to you by SAI. Note that the password will begin with the letters PID. Once the password is in, scroll down and locate a drop menu called the Preferred Codec. Set the preferred codec to G729A. Scroll down to the dial plan, remove what's in there now, and enter parentheses 724 parentheses. Next, we'll disable phone 2, phone 3, and phone 4, as they are not needed.
Now it will save all changes. The screen may refresh 20 to 30 seconds from now, and then you'll be back into the utility. Now we're going to configure, configure the phone lines. Click on line 1. Here we set the proxy as before, sve-ata.synergymms.com colon 5724. Scroll down and enter the display name as before, the user ID as before, and the password as before. Set the codec to G729A. In the dial plan, this is where we enter less than symbol colon 101 greater than symbol S0. PSTN answer delay should be set to zero. Detect PSTN long silence, set to yes. And VoIP long silence, also to yes. Set lines 2, 3, and 4 the same way. We'll speed this part of the video up just so you can see that it actually happens, but we won't go through every single step as slowly as normal configuration. When all four lines have been configured, be sure to scroll down and save all your changes. Welcome to Synergy MMS. Please enter your employee ID followed by the pound key.